A new tyranny emerges, the silence amidst Israel-Palestine war, is Hitler truly dead? The way sports organizations and even Europe as a whole seem to be attempting to silence anyone who raises their voice against the killings and Palestinian genocide carried out by Israel is deeply troubling. There's a growing trend of threats of suspension and removal from teams for any player who dares to take a stand and denounce these atrocities. It's a disturbing echo of history, as Europe, having once faced the horrors of Hitler, now appears to be grappling with a new kind of tyranny, one that arises from the shadows of the old. The attempt to stifle voices of conscience and protest against human rights abuses is a dangerous path, one that Europe should be cautious not to tread, for it raises uncomfortable questions about the moral fabric of the continent and its commitment to the values of justice, freedom, and human rights. After the terrorist attack by Hamas on Israel, several football players caused a heated debate with their social media posts expressing their views on Israel and the Palestinians. This situation raises questions about the limits of freedom of expression. The German Constitution, in Article 5, states, everyone has the right to freely express and distribute their opinion in speech, writing, or images. In other words, everyone can say what they want as long as it doesn't involve slander, incitement to violence, or hate speech. The legal framework appears clear, but the interpretation and understanding of what was said, how someone would say something, and whether a statement or post constitutes a current criminal act are often less straightforward. In recent days, professional footballers Maser Masrawi and Anwar El Ghazi stirred controversy with their social media posts. Masrawi, a Moroccan national team player who plays for FC Bayern, expressed well wishes for the Palestinians in their war with Israel on Instagram. El Ghazi, a Dutch Moroccan player for FSV Mainz 05, shared the phrase from the river to the sea. Palestine must be free, a saying often associated with Hamas, denying Israel's right to exist. Mainz club officials have suspended and removed El Ghazi, and he will no longer play or train with the team. FC Bayern, on the other hand, released an official statement regarding Masrawi, stating that he firmly disapproves of terrorism and war and expressing regret if his posts have caused any offense. This led to a debate about whether he should continue playing for the club. From a legal perspective, Clubs are walking on shaky ground when they seek to take action against players for their personal views and expressions outside of working hours. As Paul Lamberts, a sports law specialist, emphasized, everyone has a sphere of privacy, and an employer typically cannot influence an employee's opinions or actions outside of working hours. This applies to football players as well. The suspension of Anwar El Ghazi can also be legally questioned. When Lamberts shared this opinion with several German media outlets at the beginning of last week, it caused an outcry against the mentioned clubs and their players on social media, as well as criticism from some politicians. Johanna Steniger from the CDU, who has been a member of the Bundestag since 2013, suggested not only Masrawi's expulsion from FC Bayern but also his deportation from Germany, a request lacking a legal basis. However, this request was quickly dismissed as Minister of the Interior of Bavaria, Joachim Hermann, pointed out that deporting someone would typically require issues related to residency permits or the commission of serious crimes. Hermann urged FC Bayern to handle the situation carefully. Joseph Schuster, the head of the Central Council of Jews in Germany, also spoke about the case on Tuesday, October 24. In an interview published in the Süddeutsche Zeitung, he called for clearer consequences for the player and emphasized that FC Bayern should ensure that such incidents do not happen again. FC Bayern chose not to impose any sanctions against Masrawi. Legal ambiguity aside, it was in the club's best interest, as they are currently struggling with injuries among their defensive players. Bayern Munich's fans are known for pushing back against the club's management when the values of the club are compromised. This has been seen in the past during discussions about sponsorship contracts with Qatar and Rwanda and most recently when the re-signing of Jerome Boateng, who faced accusations of bodily harm, was under consideration. Masrawi has also faced open criticism from the stands. In May, he supported a fellow Moroccan national team player who refused to wear a shirt in support of the LGBT community on Instagram. Following this, during the match between Bayern and RB Leipzig, banners were displayed in the stands urging Masrawi not to compromise the club's values. For the weekend's matches, the German Football League and the German Football Association recommended a minute of silence for the victims of the terrible events in Israel, but they did not ask the same thing for the victims of Palestine. As far as we know, all players respected this request, 
regardless of their personal views on the Middle East war.